ओम ज्ञानतिमीराजनिशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति भक्तिवेदातस्वामीनामे नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ वर्ड्स ऑफ द इलेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम नित्यम निरीक्षमाणानाम यदपि द्वारकौकसाम न विप्यंति दृश श्रिओ धामांगम अच्युतम द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्स इज द इनहैबिटेंट्स ऑफ द्वारका व रेग्युलरली अकस्टम टू लुक अपॉन द रिजर्वायर ऑफ ऑल ब्यूटी द इनफैलेबल लॉर्ड येट they were never satiated navitrupyanti they were never satiated what's the meaning of uh, satiation satiation means uh, upon repeatedly doing something one becomes completely um satisfied so that there is no more possibility of being further taking further satisfaction one becomes saturated that's the word in english satiation has got another word saturation just like if you take a glass of water and you keep adding salt then the salt becomes dissolved but if you keep adding more and more salt a certain point of saturation comes where no more salt will dissolve in that water in the saline solution in the salt solution no more it will dissolve because it's saturated similarly when somebody let us say eats a piece of sweet then they may take a small piece and they taste it oh it's very nice let me have little more so they have one more piece of the sweet and then they feel even more satisfied then one more piece one more piece how many pieces can they keep eating there is a certain point of saturation or satiation where no more they can eat and uh, relish that uh, sweet in fact it becomes nausea that means they feel like no more even looking at that sweet so that is the point of saturation so when looking at the beauty of the lord the inhabitants of dwaraka even though they are accustomed to seeing the most beautiful form of the lord they never felt uh, saturated they never thought we have seen enough they never felt like that so it is explained by prabhu par in the purport when the ladies of the city of dwaraka got up on the roofs of their palaces they never thought that they had previously many times seen the beautiful body of the infallible lord they never thought like that we have seen it enough number of times though they had actually seen many 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 times before this indicates that they had no satiation in desiring to see the lord anything material seen for a number of times ultimately becomes unattractive by the law of satiation we have experience in this material world if we repeatedly see something beautiful we become saturated we become satiated we cannot see it anymore it's no longer attractive it becomes unattractive after saturation point of saturation that's true for all material beauty the law of satiation acts materially but there is no scope for it in the spiritual realm 
in the case of spiritual beauty there is no satiation there is no saturation never the word infallible is significant here because although the lord has mercifully descended on earth he is still infallible infallible means he never falls down to the material platform we on the other hand we fall down to the material platform when we come to the material world when we come in contact with the gunas material nature we become conditioned we fall down to the material platform from the spiritual platform we fall down to the material platform so prabhupad says uh, the lord does not become uh, fallen whereas the living entities are fallible fallible means they are prone to fall down because when they come in contact with the material world they lack their spiritual identity what happens to our spiritual identity we are all spirit souls what happens to it it becomes uh, covered by the material body hmm? and thus the body materially obtained becomes subjected to birth growth transformation situation deterioration annihilation under the laws of nature our spiritual beauty is covered our spiritual form is covered and the material form however nice it may look when one is young as the body ages or as the body uh, changes as the body becomes diseased or old or invalid or wrinkled then the body is no longer beautiful the body is no longer beautiful when a person becomes um, dirty uh, due to sweating then until the person takes a good bath will not appear uh, beautiful will not appear fresh you see the lord's body is not like that hmm? he descends as he is and is never under the laws of material modes spiritual form never deteriorates never becomes dirty there is no possibility of material contamination and in the case of the lord there is no possibility of material covering this material covering applies only to living entities who are desirous of material enjoyment or desirous of materially lording over material nature only to such living entities uh, the spiritual form gets covered by a material covering and that material covering is strictly according to the material laws subject to deterioration it cannot remain the same it never remains the same anything material has to deteriorate with time with kala the supreme lord's body is the source of everything that be aham sarvasya prabhavo krishna says in bhagavad gita i am the source of everything janmadyasya yataha supreme lord is the ultimate source of everything in the vedanta sutra also it's explained bhagavad gita also explains this bhagavatam also explains this the opening verse of the bhagavatam says janmadyasi yataha anvayati tartas charthe shabigya swarat krishna vasudeva the son of vasudeva the divine son of vasudeva and devaki is actually the ultimate source of everything so uh, the supreme lord's form or body is the source of everything that be it is the reservoir of all beauties beyond our experience we cannot have sufficient uh, experience of seeing the lord's transcendental form if at all we have spiritual eyes to see then we cannot uh, say we have seen enough never hmm. no one therefore is satiated by seeing the transcendental uh, 
body of the Lord because they are there are always manifestations of newer and newer beauties this is the nature of the Lord's form ever fresh uh, in the Brahma Samhita uh, Navayavva Namcha ever fresh youthful beauty is the nature of the Lord's transcendental form so uh, never compare the Lord's form with any material form never consider the Lord's form to be material it may appear like a material form but it is not a material form so therefore Srila Prabhupada concludes this purport by telling the transcendental name, form, qualities, entourage, etc. are all spiritual manifestations. When the Lord descends to this material world, incarnates, uh, He incarnates in His transcendental form, with transcendental name, transcendental qualities, His spiritual entourage, His associates, were all completely spiritual beings. They also descend in spiritual form. Hmm? But they look like ordinary people. But they are not ordinary people. They are all spiritual manifestations of the Lord in this material world. There is no satiation in chanting the holy name of the Lord. We keep chanting Hare Krishna mantra every day. Because it is a spiritual sound vibration, there is no satiation. We don't get uh, bored chanting the same mantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare every day we chant minimum of 1728 times this mantra 16 rounds and uh, uh, liberated souls uh, pure devotees like Haridas Thakur they chant uh, Three lakh names of the Lord every day. Three lakh names. About 22 hours in a cycle of 24 hours they chant. Why? Because it's full of nectar. Namamruta. It is full of nectar. And unlimited supply of nectar is there when one keeps chanting, 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 chanting. Of course the chanting has to be done purely to taste that nectar of the holy name Nama Amrita. but it is there it is there in the holy name in the transcendental vibration there is no satiation in discussing the qualities of the Lord the Lord has unlimited qualities by which he attracts everyone this is this, uh, described in the Atma Rama verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam first canto seventh chapter Atma Rama verse. Atma Rama Shamunayo Nirgrantha Api Urukrame Kurvanti Ahit Kim Bhaktim Itham Bhuta Guno Harihi Itham Bhuta means it's full of attractive qualities, attracts everybody. So, uh, devotees who discuss these wonderful qualities of the Lord, they're never tired. Machitta madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayantascha maam nityam. They are always discussing about the wonderful uh, qualities of the Lord. And they derive great satisfaction and happiness. Tushyanti cha ramanti cha. That is the nature of uh, the Lord's uh, um, personality, his qualities. There is no limitation to the entourage of the Lord. He appears with his associates and he has so many associates. So many as He is unlimited Lord. He has unlimited associates. So the Lord is a source of all and is limitless. That is a conclusion. He is limitless. He is Ananta. And he is a source of everything. 
अहम सर्वस्य प्रभुवो जन्माद्य से यथा दैट्स अ कंक्लूजन आई विल स्टॉप हियर थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण